How's it everyone? It's Chris. Have a look at my latest yellowfin tuna trip. We launched from Gordon's Bay and after a two and a half hour ride out to the canyons, we were in the tuna grounds. It wasn't long before we were into the action. Have a look. Dude, you didn't have a lot of line there. Chris hasn't got a lot, eh? Okay, there we go. Now keep him in the circle, cool? Keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going. Hold it. Start pulling the other way. This thing is not going to plan. Okay. Just focus, focus, focus. Left, 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 left. Here we go. Okay. Perfect, okay. You should have guided him a bit more this side. He's gonna turn now again. He's gonna turn, you see. Okay, can you not go again? Pull him this way. Okay, left. Yeah, yeah, just could have let him go a bit more. It's fine. Turn this way. <laughs> Boy T, well done. Got it, eh? Chris, you get the stuff ready, necessary. How's it guys? Chris here. Um, really tough day out at sea today, but uh, we managed to get a few fish, as you will see. And now I'm going to show you how to prepare yellowfin tuna sashimi. So, first things first, there's always a bit of wind here in Strand, as you can see. So I've got a big chunk of yellowfin here. The yellowfin's got four loins, all right, two on its back and then two underneath. Um, so I'm not going to have a 50, 60, 70 kilo fish here on the table, so I've just got a a perfect amount of fish that is necessary for this evening so I'm going to cut off firstly it's got a little bit of a blood um, bloodline inside just cut this off here try to not waste anything just cut until there's no more of the blood you can see how thick this piece of tuna is So I'm going to be doing the sashimi tonight. There you go. Okay, so now I've got all this blood meat off. I'm going to be cutting the skin now off. You can see it's got quite a thick layer of skin. It's a very big strong fish. There you go, you can see it's right on the skin, no waste at all. How good does that look? You can see nice and fresh fish here.
So now for the sashimi, pretty much all it is is it's raw tuna. Um, just going to be cutting up into fine pieces now. Working with such a big piece of meat, you just want to get it into smaller sizes, easier to work with. Might as well have a little piece on the way as well. Try not get any of the sinew or this white flesh in the sashimi as it will make it chewy and you don't want that with sashimi. Sashimi needs to be a thin piece of tuna. So we're going to put it with a little bit of wasabi, ginger and um, soy sauce. Mix down with a nice vintook. And and now, you're going to dip it here, tab wasabi, and you're ready to go. Now that's the taste of a successful down the water. Now the process begins of cutting each of these into about four or five little hand pick sizes. So, there and there you go now if you serve this at for say like a party or something brilliant appetizer everyone just goes grabs a piece of tuna you make it smaller bigger how you want it there you go you can't get fresh up you can't get something with more flavor than this if you buy a yellowfin at a restaurant you're gonna be paying 500 rand a kilo and here we've got 50 kilos in one fish. Cheers! Guys, thanks for watching catchcook.com. Um, please like us and subscribe because we're going to have a lot more awesome fishing videos and how to prepare the fish that you've caught. And um, yeah, thanks guys.